The Bible says the word of God is God. The Bible also says the word of God is alive and active. The Bible doesn't say the word of God is the scriptures. People started saying the scriptures are the word of God. You can kind of understand this in a way. <clears throat> but it's not a sin to say the Bible is not the word of God. I mean, in a way you can understand this also. <clears throat> Why is that? Because if you love the Lord Jesus Christ and obey His commandments, but you don't call the Bible the Word of God, <laughs> you're, you're still on the right track. You're following the Lord. If, if you're going to um, go, you know, uh, from this life, pass, pass away, and you're going to meet the Lord, you know, all the things that, that will matter that day will be whether we, we, we live the holy life, pleasing to, to the Lord, you know, and pra practice righteousness, or we pra practice lawlessness. That's the only thing that is going to decide where we will spend eternity. I mean, if you say the Bible is not the word of God, and you totally dis uh, uh, disregard Jesus Christ, and you don't uh, follow Him, and uh, you live worldly and that kind of in that kind of sense then obviously it's wrong for you to say that way but you can also say it in a good way why because you've met the living god yourself and you received from him you've met the alive and active word of god yourself you have respect and you yourself use the manuscripts written by people 2000 years ago and translated in thousands of ways along the way. They're good and useful and you use them. But you know the true word of God. You've met him, you experienced him and you might just say the Bible is not the word of God so that others might establish that same relationship with the living God that is alive and active today and receive for themselves if you say the Bible is the inherent word of God which there's nothing like that written in the Bible but the doctrine that you come up with from your Bible is in total contradiction to the words of life, to the words of the Lord Jesus Christ, then you can call the Bible the Word of God all you want. It's not going to help you. You're still going to end up in hell. The Bible says... <clears throat> The scriptures are inspired by God. And I agree with that. That's true. And it's simply because the Bible was written by men, by people. People who had a relationship with God. It's their writings. The gospel of Matthew, the Gospel of Mark, Luke, and John. It's four different people recounting the life and the, the, the events that took place in their lifetime when they were witnesses to the Son of God on earth. And later, the other um, 
disciples and prophets of God that um, share their testimonies <clears throat> from their relationship with God. Now, there's differences between uh, the way that uh, Matthew recounted to the way that Mark recounted. Because it's, you know, it's different people, it's four different people recounting the same events. If, it would, if the author would be simply the Holy Spirit, then you won't need four Gospels. You know, you, 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 you need just one. But it's just to, to show us that people had a relationship with God. And uh, that people, their intention is that... Uh, is so that we will also establish a relationship with God. This is the purpose of their testimonies. You know, and what they're writing is inspired by God because they're writing out of their relationship with God. If I would have a dream from the Lord and I share it, then that is obviously... Uh, the video that I make is inspired by God. Now, obviously, I, I, I will recount the dream as I remember it. And uh, <laughs> it's, also <coughs> it's also not impossible that the words that I will speak in that video uh, will, will not be perfect. I, I, might, I might even make a mistake in how I remember the dream or in how I pronounce myself. It doesn't mean that the video that I make is inerrant <clears throat> because I'm not inerrant. I'm not flawless. I might not be lying on purpose and I, I might not be willfully sinning, but we also see mistakes and differences between uh, the way that the apostles recounted the Gospels. Now, are they going to be held accountable because they made a mistake or they remember it in, in a different way? Obviously not. <clears throat> but the point I'm trying to make, let's just let God condemn other people uh, because he, he reads our intentions, the intentions of our hearts. And why we say it and when we say it. The Lord Jesus Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father and he will give you another comforter that will be with you forever. He wasn't talking about the Bible. He was talking about the Holy Spirit. And you know what? He's inerrant. He doesn't make mistakes. Let's seek to receive directly from Him. When we do that, then we know <clears throat> we receive the truth. Then we know what we receive is inerrant. But if we take the, the writings of people who were saints, but that doesn't mean they never made any, any mistake. Plus, other people who translated it in thousands of ways. And then, uh, different pastors and preachers interpreted and religions. It's over 45,000 different uh, doctrines uh, out of the same book. Can you imagine that? I mean, <laughs> there's... there's Thousands of ways to interpret the dictionary, <laughs> you know, then, then it's obvious that there could be some mistakes along the way. We might make uh, uh, some mistakes in reading it and interpreting it. This is why there are so many different uh, <clears throat> religions, Christian doctrines out there, you know. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share today. And um, I hope you have a blessed day. Might the Lord Jesus Christ bless you.